Sometimes we yearn for the old. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 awesome video game features removed in sequels. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at all the features that were introduced in a game prior in the series that stood out and possibly provided a more enjoyable experience, but were unfortunately taken out in sequels. To be clear, their removal doesn't mean the games were automatically bad. In fact, some of these games are really good, starting with our first entry. <laughs> Number 10, The Hookshot, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. As incredible as Breath of the Wild is, there's no denying that it's a drastic departure from the series' norm. Some fans have complained about the lack of traditional dungeons, but considering the non-linear progression of the game, we can say that's a change for the better. But it's the omission of a popular weapon slash tool that's been with the series since A Link to the Past that has us scratching our heads. The hookshot allowed Link to reach higher ledges faster or clear gaps very efficiently, and considering how much traversal across rugged terrain there is in the game, it seems like an odd choice to remove it. Maybe they're saving it for the DLC? Who knows? Number 9, an adventure mode, Super Smash Bros. 4, 3DS, and Wii U. Introduced first in Melee as a separate mode to the classic format, Adventure was later expanded upon in Brawl as a story mode with somewhat open-ended exploration. Getting to see our favorite heroes and villains fight one another and eventually team up to face a greater evil was an awesome journey. Unfortunately, the fourth title removed Adventure Mode altogether, and the excuse as to why it was removed was kinda dumb. Series creator Masahiro Sakurai said that the reason why Adventure Mode was removed is because the cutscenes would have been uploaded online. Sorry, what? Listen, Nintendo, we know you don't like YouTube, but come on. Number 8, Base Building, Command & Conquer 4, Tiberium Twilight. In nearly every RTS since the dawn of the genre, one of the core elements has been setting up your base of operations before building your army and expanding upon it as the match progresses. While we could spend all day listing the things that are wrong with Command & Conquer 4, it's the removal of base building that upset us the most. While other RTS games may not use base building, it was the fact that it was in this series since its debut that frustrated us the most. Removing too many features for a sequel isn't always the right thing to do. Meh, maybe EA will learn its lesson, or not. A structure is ready. A structure is under attack. Number seven, an actual plot, Monster Hunter Generations. The Monster Hunter series isn't exactly known for having deep plots. You go here, you kill these monsters, move on, repeat. So, when Monster Hunter 4 provided an actual story, it surprised many fans. Mind you, it wasn't mind-blowing by any means, but it certainly gave a true sense to the adventure, and a sense of progression. So, it came as a disappointment to see Monster Hunter Generations take the story away and return the series to its very basic roots. While Monster Hunter Generations brought with it some of the best gameplay in the series, we were really hoping to see more stories and life breathed into our favorite monster-infested world. Number 6, Expansive World, Dragon Age 2. Surely you'll need all the help you can- No! You're too late. Already done. Dragon Age Origins stunned the gaming community. Coming hot off the heels of Bioware's Mass Effect, it was amazing to see another awesome new IP under the dev's handle. So, when a sequel was announced, players were undoubtedly excited, only to receive disappointment on launch day. I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. Taking a moderately open-ended level design and condensing it into a small hub with sets of more linear levels feels like one of the biggest dumbing downs of a series that you can come up with. There seems to be no reasoning behind it except to better tell a lone character story and, uh, you know, cut down on time and development costs. Lame. Ah, and here we are. Number 5, Specific Character Traits, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion and Skyrim. Who are you? As Elder Scrolls blossomed into 3D with Morrowind, its popularity grew as well. Unfortunately, so did the dumbing down of the character traits. Birth signs were introduced as a means of giving you an extra boost or ability to start out with, until their removal in Skyrim. Other traits, such as skills like acrobatics and blunt weaponry, were merged with other attributes or removed from the games entirely. Come on, we miss the days of hopping 10 feet off the ground. Unfortunately, it seems like Bethesda has a knack for dumbing down their RPGs, so we can only hope that a certain recent release will serve as a lesson for the next Elder Scrolls. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Number 4, Horror, 
Resident Evil 6. The carrier is armed with anti-aircraft artillery. Take out those guns, Alpha. Resident Evil got its start in the horror genre, with the original trilogy creating tense, creepy, and disturbing situations. From 4 and 5, we saw the series shift directions, going into a much more action feel, while keeping some of the horror elements from its predecessors. But with 6, we saw the beloved franchise get thrown out the window like the stuntman it had become. Sure, there were tons of jump scares, but we're given enough combat skills and guns to take on a small army, making the monsters seem more like cannon fodder. Hey, but at least they put the horror back into the series with Resident Evil 7. <laughs> Number 3. Everything Smart – Deus Ex – Invisible War We keep our operations secret for a reason, Alex. Don't expect a full debriefing while you're still in danger of being captured. This game might as well be invisible to everyone anyway. Deus Ex fans won't even acknowledge this game's existence, and for good reason. Invisible War took several features out of the series, from smart AI, to strategizing what ammo you should take, to the skills you should acquire. Even the dialogue choices felt lacking, as you'd find out later that they wouldn't even have a powerful impact on the story. Maybe later. Very well. And besides, how in the world is it that my shotgun uses the same ammo as my rocket launcher? Illuminati or not, that makes no sense. Number 2. Arcade Slash Ladder Mode – Street Fighter V <laughs> Listen, not everyone wishes to play a fighting game only for the multiplayer. As crazy as it sounds to some, many players enjoy having a single-player experience, even if it's just fighting a random lineup of AI fighters. While Capcom may argue that the story is a replacement, it still kind of feels like a cheap imitator to the classic. If you're not gonna fight me seriously, then you can just die. Before the Street Fighter series dominated the fighting scene on consoles, many would spend hours at their local arcades fighting through the ladder of fighters. It seems like the old days are gone now, though, and with the multiplayer currently dominating the current market, Capcom doesn't seem to be budging. Number 1. Split Screen – Halo 5 – Guardians They'll order you to kill us both. Unless you own a Nintendo console, or maybe even a PC, the term local multiplayer seems to be lost to the ages. Seeing many shooters move to a 60fps format, 343 Industries decided to follow suit with Halo 5, but at the cost of something pretty big, split-screen play. Fans cried in outrage, as the option had been available in every Halo game since the first Xbox. To add even more salt to that wound, the campaign is built around four-player co-op, since each mission is designed around a team of four making the decision to ditch split-screen even more baffling. That's what you'd call one step forward, two steps off a cliff. It took you long enough. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.